So I'm about to tell y'all how I wash my JJ. Like, so girl, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I do it. So then I'll just go ahead and lay on my back. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel for today's video we are going to be talking about hygiene feminine hygiene you need to know you need to, to get a little notebook write it down take notes because you need to have it on point say seen what a little booty say something get it right keep that pussy in check <laughs> No, but seriously though, hygiene is really important to me. Scents and all that, y'all know I love my scents. Like, I just love keeping up with myself, smelling good. Just It just makes me feel good as a woman overall. So, yeah, girl. So, I'm here to tell you my tips and tricks on what I do to keep my homegirl happy and healthy, okay? So, if you're new here, hello. My name is Kyra. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And yeah, and don't forget to uh, follow me on my social media. It's around me. So yeah. So anyway, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so girl, the first thing you need to know is that you literally need to consume a lot of water. Like, I know it sounds super cliche, like water, water, drink your water. Everybody says drink water. No, seriously though, drinking a lot of water is really beneficial to your body in overall general. It's going to keep your homegirl happy, even just overall your whole body. Like, I literally make it a point to have clear pee at the end of the day. Like, if I don't have clear pee, I'm like, damn, I didn't even get a lot of water in today. But most of the time, it's pretty clear. So I'm pretty proud of myself. But, and also include green juices into your diet. I know it's like nasty to think about, but no. Seriously, include green juices, girl, and put a little pineapple in it. I'm gonna get to that later on, like, you know. But no, seriously though, it all starts within what you intake as well from this, from your mouth, and from there. So make sure you're on it. Don't sleep on water intake. Okay, don't sleep money. So another thing, you should take a probiotic. So there's probiotic drinks and stuff like that. And there's also pills. I like to drink like kombucha and stuff. I just like to drink stuff that includes probiotics and things like that. Just because probiotics are good for your body overall in general. It has a lot of benefits. And also it can help prevent like UTIs, yeast infections and stuff like that. So yeah, very, very much so consider taking probiotic or just intake something that has a probiotic in it because I'm telling you it's good for your overall health in general and your homegirl down there and it's just so third thing, avoid tight clothing. Oh my God, I hate tight clothes. I hate tight panties. I hate tight shit. When I wear tight shit, my homegirl is screaming. She's so moist and like... <laughs> She's moist and y'all know bacteria grows in moisture and warmth. So that's the things that you want to avoid. So girl, when I wear tight clothing, my homegirl is screaming like, and it's getting sweaty and shit. Like I can feel it. Like I'm like, oh my God, this is too tight. Like when I have small underwear, like I don't know how girls with that's getting their body done. I'm about to get my body done, but still like, I don't know how girls find underwear that fit that's not tight because i know a lot of girls um free ball but i don't free ball i'm not a free balling girl i do have like you know a little donkey donk back there so it's literally hard for me to find underwear that fit yeah <laughs> so yeah a boy tight clothing and a boy tight underwear too um these are the type of underwears i like to wear on a daily basis i like to wear first of all i don't have a man so i don't i don't like wearing thongs like i like wearing cheeky comfortable cotton shit so i just picked these up at target matter of fact i wear stuff like this like cute little cheeky stuff um the ones from Victoria's Secret girl them is getting a little too small for me so I like the ones from Calvin Klein too like cotton material ones you want to have underwear that's breathable you don't want nothing like you know that your homegirl suffocating you don't want her to suffocate girl you don't want to do it because she gonna be like girl what the fuck when I have like you know a little Netflix and chill date or something like that I do wear like you know the little sexy lace panties or whatever 
So, but I do make sure that in the middle, they have a cotton, like, you know, thing right here in the middle. So, my homegirl's good and protected. Like, I just hate when shit get all, like, in my, my coochie, in my coochie lips. And I gotta dig it out. It's so irritating, I swear to God. But I wear shit like this, because I know it's gonna come off. Like, I can get away with, like, tight, like you know cute little sexy panties like this um that's uncomfortable for me because i know they're gonna come that are just for show like panties that's just for show you know what i'm saying because it's gonna come off within a couple minutes anyway like after that you know that netflix did it like <laughs> like you know how the beginning of the movie started dun, 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 and then you know y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about avoid tight clothing avoid tight underwear because you don't want them problems okay period. okay so now we're gonna get into like washing our homegirl making sure she's fresh and clean and good to go one thing that I like to use um, is the honey pop honey pop normal foaming wash so this is black owned it just came out not too long ago this year and this is not going to hurt you this is a hundred percent plant-based natural feminine care wash so it's not gonna harm you um but i don't you don't put this in your coochie like you don't put it in there you just wash around it like it's like a body wash for your your homegirl so yes yeah. so i like to use this and you don't have to like just because you have this does not mean you like you have like bb or some shit like no this is just to keep your ph balanced just washing your homegirl like a little personal body wash for your homegirl so yeah i like to use this one by honey pot yeah it's pretty much 100 percent natural and it's not gonna harm you and you can find this at target but they always be sold out but yes girl she's a good pickup okay so i get waxes i just started getting waxes and girl if you ever got a wax girl you're sleep go get a fucking wax grow the fuck up go take a little shot of hennessy it's not well i ain't even gonna lie to y'all i have a video of me getting brazilian wax the first time girl <laughs> it wasn't even that bad but in your mind if you haven't done it it's just like oh my god like but as soon as it's done girl you'll be like yes 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 i'm glad i did this because it feels so soft and just it's ready to go okay so but what i don't like if you do shave like those ingrown hairs that's coming in they tell you to exfoliate that area or like anywhere where you got wax shave whatever to stop the ingrown hairs because <clears throat> girl i remember when i shaved and the hairs was growing in and i was just like oh my like this is so annoying it's so frustrating like i can't function when ingrown hair is coming in and they touching the panty under i don't know it's just an annoying feeling but anyway so to slow that down and help with ingrown hairs this is the slow it body wash i literally got this from the european wax center a body wash a hair growth minimizer i literally use this on top i mean where i was waxed and under my armpits or my legs if i happen to get my legs wax but i've been using this to like crazy to slow my hairs down because obviously we're in quarantine we can't go get a wax or whatnot so but this really helps a lot it really helps me with my ingrown hairs so but she told me that you can use any type of exfoliator to like you know stop the ingrown hairs so but she said this one is like a really good formula so i just end up getting this so it's really good so if you have a european wax center in your area and it like when quarantine is over and it's time to open up and you finna go get a wax pick this up ask about it it's really good okay y'all so i'm about to tell y'all <laughs> so i'm about to tell y'all how i washed my JJ. like like i told y'all i don't use some products in my pussy so but i do i mean i put hot water on a cloth and you know rub down there but if i'm on like my menstrual or if i really want to feel like extra clean so girl i don't know if anybody else does this but i do it so whatever <laughs> so i literally run the bath water 
um, like normal. Like I take a shower first and then I'll run the bath water. And then I'll just go ahead and lay on my back. <laughs> I'll lay on my back and then like scoop myself under the water and I like, I like queef. <laughs> I like queef and then um, I like let it out like a couple times and I'm telling you girl, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you will feel 10 times cleaner. I don't know if y'all do that. Let me know in the comment section if you do that, but girl, I do that all the time. You're gonna feel 10 times cleaner. I'm telling you, try it on your mentor or something like that. Girl, you're gonna thank me. You're like, yeah, I do feel cleaner. And then just get up and then rewash yourself because that's nasty because that stuff be coming out and then you, you'll you see it come out. So yeah, so that's a little trick that I do to be extra clean. The tip is I don't use regular tissue paper to, you know, wash after the bathroom. I use baby wipes. I like to use baby wipes because I feel like it's just better and a little bit more gentler. I feel like tissue just is a little bit too rough for my bitch. So my homegirl, so she needs something a little soft and gentle, you know, like gentle enough for babies. So I just really feel like that helps a lot. So yeah, baby wipes are a mess to have. So when you go to the grocery store, when you get your quarantine groceries, pick up some baby wipes, go ahead and get, you know, the little dispensers to put them in, put them on top of the toilet, just grab it and go. And that's another thing. Make sure you know how to wipe yourself. Front to back, ladies. Come on now. Let's, let's be serious. So, make sure you're wiping correctly. Front to back. Front to back. So, I encourage you to include cranberry juice. I don't drink cranberry juice like that. But, if I know, like, I'm going to see my boo or something like that, I'll definitely up my cranberry juice. Or, I'll up my little pineapple just to get ready for, like, our little... A little Netflix and chill date because you just want it to be like you know juicy and they say you are what you eat so girl I'm telling you the tea pineapples and cranberry juice I know you probably heard that before but it's true you are what you eat boo and then another tip you want to let your homegirl breathe I know a lot of people free ball or whatever on a daily but girl at nighttime after you take a shower go to sleep like naked whatever you do that's your business but or you can just sleep in pajama pants or whatever whatever but you don't have to wear underwear at night let your homegirl breathe like two like three to four nights of the week you want her to get some air you want her to you want her to get that out too in her so yeah make sure that you sleep with no underwear like throughout the week let her let her breathe she deserves it Okay, she's done treated you right. Okay, she done helped you get a nigga cut a check. No, I'm just kidding. I'm playing. Is you need to clean up after intercourse. Don't be trying to sit there in bed or wherever y'all do it, bathroom, whatever the fuck, movie theater, whatever. You need to run to the bathroom. You need to have some wipes on you or something, and make sure you wipe all that off. <laughs> because you don't want to be sitting in moisture like I said bacteria grows in moisture in warm areas so I'm telling you sis make sure wash up after intercourse don't just lay there and get your ass up go to the bathroom make sure she's clean dry don't let her still be wet you good and my number one rule my number one rule like this you need to stick to like do you hear me do you fucking like do you hear me i'm telling you this is the number one rule bitch i'm telling you don't let anybody in you like don't let anybody in your homegirl because i'm telling you if you have a foul odor or smell it's not you i'm telling you it's not you it's that nigga you fucking 
it's that nigga you I swear to God it's not you it could be you I mean you could be wearing tight clothing woo 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 but at the end of the day if you are sexually active and having intercourse with somebody bruh fuck all that like oh let me just get a little preview um like I can't fill it with no con no skirt no fuck that fuck what you're talking about you get one pussy and one pussy only so you need to treat her as such you need to treat her like a queen this is your domain your kingdom you can't be letting anybody in you period like point blank period there's no if ands or buts explain to that nigga like period like i remember like i don't know if this is too much tmi but i mean i'm just keeping it all the way 100 with y'all so i mean like the like my ex was cheating on me so many times like i knew when he was cheating like i knew when he was cheating because of what the fuck my body was telling me my homegirl was screaming to me like and i'm like I, I smell what he's doing to you sis like i literally do and it's time to cut this nigga off period like that's how i knew he was cheating so don't let nobody in you ladies please don't do it because he will set you the fuck off your ph if your ph is like tell if your vagina is not fucking with him it will be like nah nah sis he's community <laughs> That's how you know, that's how I knew when, when a nigga is cheating. My body does not play about me. So my my homegirl warns me always, like, if a nigga is out here doing what he doing and he coming to me and he do, trying to do me too, nah. I don't roll like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't roll like that. Don't let anybody in you, period, point blank. Let that nigga know, period. Put down all that. I don't care if you in love whatever you don't want to be going around smelling like that if you do stay away from me stay away because smelling bad is just not in my description or being around anybody that stinks. okay y'all so that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to use these tips because i'm telling you your homegirl is gonna thank you and yeah let me know if y'all like these like tip videos or whatever i kind of want to film um my perfume collection or like a pamper routine or something like that just let me know if you want like more tips videos or girl talk just let me know in the comment section down below yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love y'all so much and i'm gonna see y'all next video